welcome back to Full Coverage, your favorite podcast. Hey, Manny hey. Anyway and Lori. Hey. And we have some special guests guests here today. <laughs> we have Sebastian La and Josh. La the second favorite in the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having us, honestly. This is, this is honestly an honor. Excited. Wow, this thank you guys so cool. for coming. We just went on there, so if you haven't seen the episode, be sure to go to La Potica, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Oh, you got all that. It's We're gonna everywhere. link it down below too in our description. If It'll you're watching on YouTube, we'll link it down below. Watch our episode. It was so much yeah. fun. Oh, yes. So many positive comments. Like, it was insane. Insane. Oh, it was my second podcast being like the official co-host. So uh -huh. it was like, it was, I was nervous. Were you nervous? I was nervous. Oh yeah. my God. Were you? Yeah, because like, I was telling you, I was like, I just wanted to make sure we did a good job at like, of you know, course. making you guys feel comfortable and make sure I feel comfortable. <laughs> 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 like, I'm I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Who's scared? We're scared. I'm all scared. We're, We're everyone scared. Yeah, well, I'm glad. I honestly had a lot of fun it doing was it. Cool. Fun. It was really, really fun. Yeah. And like literally like Easy breezy. roommates, like there are roommates here. Yeah. Literally, yeah. They are. I don't know if the, uh, our people know this, but like they film La Pratica in the room next to us. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it feels like a completely different world. It, like, it, it is. Truly, like a whole different, truly. It literally it feels does. different. I feel like I'm in a whole new like building. Yeah. No, literally. That's it's, man cave vibe. It's, man I was going to say, it's very man cave Man cave yeah. vibe. Yeah. I really, really, really like it's it. It's nice and musty out there. No, that's probably <laughs> in here, musty. honestly. Not musty. The good musty. The good kind. Musty. Yeah, like yes. the, the oud. The, the musty. Oud. The, yes. oud. the oud. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so we always start off our podcasts okay. with peaks and pits. Mm -hmm. okay. So basically, it's like something that happened in the week that was like one of your favorite things and one of your least favorite things. That got happened. it. So we'll all start off. I say we'll all do our peak first. Okay. And then we'll all do our pits first. Peak right. is the good one. Peak is the peak good. Peak is good. It's got like it. a peak. It's like, oh, that was like a good thing that happened. It's the best. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. And yeah, the best. Okay. He's the best. He's <laughs> the best. <laughs> okay, let's hear those runs. <laughs> Should I start? You start. You start. You got to start, you gotta start Set it. Set the tone, girl. Yeah. All right, Set the all right. tone. All right. My peak this week, I kind of have two, but... Well, one, I'm finally getting my bathroom renovated, which yeah, is wow. very, it's very 30s of me. Yeah, yes, like that's very really adulty. I feel like this is very adulty. Uh -huh. I've never renovated anything in my whole entire life because I've been broke my whole life. So, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that changes. That changes. I know, so I'm spitting the fuck out of my money on a bathroom, but um, I'm excited. It's also kind of hell to live through. I don't know if you guys have lived through any type of renovation. Not really going through that right now, actually. Oh, really? Right, yeah. I don't think I've ever lived through, like where I've been in the house at the same time. Oh yeah, I have not done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, viewing the process of uh, all the renovation are and stuff you, like that. Yeah. Are you going to be living there? Yes, I am. While they're renovating? Not while they're renovating. Then you're golden. Okay. You're okay. golden. But while you're living there, while they're renovating, it's like a whole May different story. May God have mercy. Wow. Straight up jackhammering. Oof. Upstairs. It's 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 like, I think we're going to do a six week process. I think we're halfway through. Okay, well, at least you're halfway through. But it'll be worth it. And they're there like all day. All day. Wow. 7 a.m. they start. Damn. How long do they say like, it's going to take? Till, the whole thing? Um, they said they'll be done at the end of July, so early August. Okay. And they start it in June, I think. Jackhammer? It's also in your room. Jackhammer. It's also in your <laughs> room. It's no also reason. like in my bedroom. It's That's a master right. bathroom. Yes. Yeah. Like it's. Yes. Well, if you're going to spend money, it's got to be on the master. Yeah. Absolutely. 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 Yeah. Immediately. That's so Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. Exciting. I'm excited. So is it already really like drawn out? You know exactly how it's gonna look now? I hired 411 Studio to do it for me. Wow. Cause Ooh. I only know how sounds to expensive. spend money. They sound bougie. <laughs> they are I was gonna bougie. say, that sounds really Every day pricey. she's like, I'm like, God damn it, tell me what it is, what's the price? She's and like, you don't cause it's that. like something, it's yeah. something. She's pretty much cool. You want really good quality, right? Exactly, like I wouldn't be renovating it if I wasn't gonna make it like extra nice. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted it to like bring up my property value and like, exactly. you know you what can, I mean? Yeah. You can't Plus you also use it for like content, I'm sure, right? Oh, absolutely, big time. Well, it's a write-off. Yeah, exactly. It's a write-off. <laughs> to me, everything's a write-off. Like, oh, it's a write -off. I talked about business. It's a write-off. Yeah. <laughs> Every time you say okay, it's a write-off, it's, it's like making you feel better about what you're doing. You're no, literally, it makes you feel ten yeah. times better. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh my god, like it's fine. I was uh, yeah, I said that to me my going to Pride in New York. That, it's a write-off. I said that to my accountant, and he looked at me, and he was like. Do you know how like write-offs work? And I was like, oh God, I need to leave. I no, I don't actually, I don't know how they work. Okay, my second pit is I'm going to New York next week, which is or like kind of good. I haven't been since 2019. Wow. Peak, no peak, way. peak, peak, peak. Yeah, have you guys been? I've been, like, but recently? Not, not recently. No. Not recently. Because COVID. Aren't you, aren't you guys going? I just went. Uh, I'm going to Miami. Oh, Miami. Yeah, oh. No, but, no, I think I did go to New York like maybe like a year too. and a half ago. Oh, or a okay. year maybe. Okay. 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 Yeah. At the oh, peak. Yeah. The peak of COVID. Uh, maybe no. like maybe like the the, <laughs> the downfall. Yeah, okay, I feel yeah, like when it was, was chilling. Like chilling out. Yeah, I did yeah. go because I remember I was like vaccinated and everything, and like I was like cool to do anything. Yeah, got it. Yeah. But so was everybody else at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it goes through like the waves. It's really strange. It's like uh -huh. yeah, it'll peak and then it go like 
literally like but so chill. I like, again. love New York. They were one of the first right? places to like start so, checking box cards before restaurants. Yeah. I know they were really New York was like yeah. I think oh, yeah, the first they were. to yeah. implement it's it. Because those people are packed in there. I know. It's crazy. It's insane. I could never live there. Could Same. you guys? Nope, absolutely not. Never. No. I was literally just no. there like three weeks ago for Pride, mm -hmm. and it was like actually yeah. the craziest thing ever. Not at the moment of my, not in my life right now. No. But Could maybe you like have? four years ago, okay. I would have mm. loved to be there. Like yeah. maybe maybe rented an Airbnb for like six months or something yeah. with Karen. Yeah. That could be pretty cool. That would okay, have been sick. Because cool. really cool. I, I like New York. You yeah. Know? yeah. I think it's definitely a vibe. It I lived is. in downtown LA for like a year, and I That's wasn't similar. a big fan about that. That gives me like New York vibe. Yeah, it was like a mini New York, right? It's not as like big and stuff. But I remember like wanting to just be able to go to the park and go for a run. Like you'd have to like drive out of downtown LA to do that, it's crazy. Can't so do it. It wasn't, it wasn't Running at a park. Mm -mm. Can I just you know, tell you that Josh, <laughs> I, I met, when I met Josh, he was living in downtown. Right. Yeah. Oh. He had the biggest balcony in his building. Yeah, my no. balcony was insane. It would wow. literally like stretch out into yeah. like the middle of downtown. It was crazy. What? It was, crazy. Yeah. It was like 50, he had like 50 a, yards. Like it was insane. baller pad. And yeah. so wait, so wow. how high was it? Oh, it was only on the ninth floor. Okay, but okay. The so it's not like I terrifying, got terrifying. Uh, uh, place was because of the balcony. That's what's oh, yeah, for sure. sold it. Was crazy. It. Do you ever, spend, like a, did like you ever spend out time and actually use it? All the time. Good. All the time. That makes me yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. an outside person. Yeah. It's very, Big yeah. time. Yeah. It's very your Same. energy. So, your vibe. That is my energy. Very your outdoors. Energy, your vibe. Vibe. You're not. You're indoor. E? I'm more of an indoor. indoor. Don't even. You better. I, said, I was gonna. You better. You guys, give me indoor I vibes. I am an indoor girly. I will say. I am. I'm not really an outdoorsy. Oh no. Adventure. Kind of, I mean, I'll go on an adventure, but I'm not gonna like go on a hike. Yeah. You won't go on a hike? Why? The I mean, I don't really like it's just not, not my thing. Like, for example, like, if guys are like, oh, let's like go on a like hike to yeah. go on a date, I'm like, yeah. let's go to no. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> Instead. No, like, I'll go on a hike, what but like in VR. A picnic would be cute. Okay. Like VR. depending. <laughs> it gives me very it gives me very um what's it called? Have you guys ever seen Shits Creek by any chance? Yeah. Shits yeah, Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like David and he, Patrick go You're and, David. A hundred percent. So like David, like David it's yeah. like kind of like my vibe. Okay. Um, okay. Like, okay. He's not really like going on adventures and like yeah. open water. Like yeah. I'm not yeah. doing that. Glamping. You know what I mean? You're going glamping. I'm going glamping. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll glamp. Yeah. I will glamp in like a big tin. He's like, the, I did the, it before things. the Ritz Carlton. You remember yeah. when we Yeah, yeah. when we went to Cabo and we stayed at the Viceroy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, that was <laughs> You know, like when I, you know, stayed at the, the He's all, remember they, they made, made us, us, they made us yeah. Yeah. we didn't have to touch anything? I had a pina colada, <laughs> and brought it to crazy. our air conditioning room. <laughs> outside? Exactly. Wow, you're, outside. You're wild, I was outside. You're wild. I had to reapply sunscreen. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so, okay, so my peak, let me go into my peak. I would say my peak, I think this is just really cool because it's very my vibe. I got a brand deal with Caseify and Sailor Moon. Oh, like combined. Yeah. And it was like, my, so sick. And, like in the last week, I've been so like thrilled about like doing this sponsorship. So I haven't like finished it yet, but yeah. it's like they did a collaboration together and I'm like a huge anime Sailor Moon like, yeah, yeah, yeah. fan. Wow. Yeah. Like it was the first anime I ever watched in my like growing up and like it really like changed me because I was like, oh, well, like maybe I can like, you know, yeah, should be yeah. myself or whatever. Yeah. So the fact that they're doing a collab with Sailor Moon in case if I was like, oh, like we know you're a fan, like we let's do a partnership together. I was like, that's so cool. It took me that out. So it about cool. took me. I thought we needed so Dr. Cool. Pepper. It's your Dr. Pepper moment. It's like my Dr. Pepper moment where it's I'm like, I got oh, a brand right. deal with. Sailor do you guys? Do, wait, Sailor do you guys have Sailor a brand Moon? that would be like your creme de la creme? Yeah, like you I know like yours. Thing. Yeah, he knows mine. I always talk about <laughs> it. Jack in the box. Mine's Jack in the box. Oh, oh, you can get that. that. You can get Jack you can, in the box. Yeah, he can absolutely get that. That's very doable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what's crazy? Like yeah. me and Jack always DM. You guys say <gasps> no, you don't. Yeah, they always, they always say DM. I'll put on my close friends and like we just chat it up. Jack's on your close friends. What? No, he no. shares it too. Okay. Like the screenshot. Screen like, yeah. 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 Well, might as well. He might as well be on. Yeah, the, no. So yeah. I think I think my dream uh, brand deal is Jack and I think I'm gonna retire from the game. After For that, sure. Yeah. Yeah. That. I mean, honestly, at that point, yeah. that you you want to end it. You I don't know. I'm just you a big Jack fanatic. I love the tacos there. I love everything. They're the best with yeah. ranch or no ranch. With ranch, gotta the buttermilk. Ranch. Like, Have you guys had their breakfast? Oh my god, it's, yes. Yeah, so it's insane. Good. Extreme sausage like sandwich, ultimate yeah. breakfast. Like, yeah, it's all good. Oh my god, he's like actually a jackaholic. <laughs> he's a jackaholic. Yeah. He's a jackaholic. He needs he like can't stop. He needs I, I also help. Work, I also worked there for like a two years <gasps> when, I was, when I was. And did you uh, love it when 18. you worked there too, though? I actually did like it. Okay. I did because it was wow. so different than what I was doing before. Which I used to wash cars, and then I used to vacuum them and dry them, like at a car wash. So I did that for like about a year and a half, two years, and then when I went to Jack and I was like, "Oh my god, this is so much How better." How old were than you? Eat, get free the food. Car was, yeah, and then all the like the Mexican ladies in the bag, they started like falling in love with me, and then like, <laughs> of course, I, of, of course, course, yeah. of course. <laughs> he's like seventeen. Everyone's like, 
<laughs> yeah, they're, they're like my thea, my theas, you know. Yeah, yeah. Totally. So like they would hook me up. So I how old were you? That. I was uh, 17, 18 when wow. I started jacking. Did you I ever make like your own like concoctions with like oh, the, all day? The oh, day. That's, so cool. oh, that's so cool. That's hey. what I would do. So you oh, made like they, a loaded monster. Did they have monster tacos at the time? They did. I remember those. My best, the best. I love them. I love monster tacos. I just put a bunch of cheese on them. Is that your first job, like the car wash team? Car wash yeah. job. What was your first job? Uh, Red Brick Pizza. I was a pizza boy. Ah. Like delivering? Not delivering. I was just like, you know, kind of like, um, what are the, uh, there's like a bunch of ones that like you could almost like a Chipotle for pizza. Uh -huh. which is like okay. way back oh, then. Okay. What do they call Like Blaze? Blaze, like a Blaze pizza. Uh, okay, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something similar yeah. to that. Mine yeah, was, um, Cheeburger, Cheeburger, a waitress for cheap oh, there burgers we go. at Cheeseburger Place. And he, oh, wow. Our town wasn't like huge, but he, at one point worked at the bar making milkshakes. What? While you're, while we you're... weren't dating. Okay. No way. We, we knew dating. each other. Yeah, we knew each and other. And you guys were talking everything. A, a, hostess, a hostess there really That's liked it. him. <gasps> I was probably off being a whore, I'm gonna be really honest. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a hostess a liked days. him? Yeah, it's like a hostess like wanted him and I was just like, he's great. Like he is great. Yeah, he's he's cool. the sweetest, wow. sweetest man ever. Wow. Sweetest boy ever. And he was doing what? Making milkshakes at the bar. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So hot. Wow. I yeah. love that. Go what in. was your first job? I was a volleyball coach. Mm. No way. Wow. My first job was volleyball coaching. Like, yeah. Like for I coached high school. Oh, I, that's awesome. I coached freshmen, girls, and freshmen's boys. Dang. So no for way. two years, I was a volleyball coach. I can see you as a coach. It was so fun. And my team both years went undefeated. Both wow. my teams. Wow. Like I because I went from like a school that was like known for volleyball. Like my yeah. school's known for it. And I played volleyball all the years I was there. So I was really good at it. And then, so I went to school that wasn't like as known for volleyball. Mm -hmm. And so I taught them the things I learned from oh. the well-known volleyball school. And then made them And undefeated. so they were all undefeated for like the wow. two years. And I was and like- you had really good volleyball players then. I mean- He made them good. I made them good. Mm. Got it. Like they were like mm. athletically- But they had the potential. Driven. They had potential. There you go. But you know, it's just, it takes like, like for example, like, the, like yeah. yes. So it's like, like for example, like <laughs> underhand <laughs> serving in volleyball is like very common, but it's not like the most progressive serve. You kind of want to serve overhand, but this school taught them like, oh, serve it like this. And I was yeah. like, no, no, no. no. Easiest, go overhand. It looks we're going to do overhand way serving cooler. and it's going to be way stronger, way more intense. And so that's like, we win on serving I wish games. I could see you do this coaching. And it's like, I was like 10 years ago. Too. Do you still play volleyball? 15 years ago. Mm, not still, really as much. I could pick it up though. Okay. Like, yeah. I feel like it's like riding a bike for me. Like, I can yeah. definitely, definitely do that. I feel like anytime there's a volleyball now for like on a brand trip or traveling, yeah. he wants to go. I do. He's really? like, I yeah. don't like guys just play. I it's like such a good workout. Oh, it will fucking kill your ass. Especially like would, on the beach. I would, the beach. I would honestly the beach. underestimate you. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, for sure. And then 100%. you just, I feel like you just kill it. And that would just like destroy everyone. And I'm very much that person where I'm like, oh my God, like, I guess I'll like, yeah, I feel like you would play that whole card. He's really competitive. But then as soon as like I get into it, I'm like, you're fucking done. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you guys are done. fucking gonna get wrecked. He's really competitive. <laughs> That's just I'm a very taste of how I was back wow. in the day. Wow, wow. What? That's just a taste of how oh, you yeah. were with your other opponent. No, I was the type of coach that would jump onto like the field and be like, come on. Like, I was no crazy. Way. Yeah, I was yeah. crazy. Spike the ball! Because they were like my kids. you had brothers, too. Yeah, and that's like You like grew up in a lot of boys, a lot of boys. Okay, so what's your peak? Now okay, so this is kind of like a shameless plug, but, but this I is like, give it, this give is it like, to us, give it to uh, us. So here I, we go. <laughs> <laughs> he said, here we go. Uh, I own my own company called Salud, which is like a hydration immunity, like drink mix thing, right? And that was our first product we launched, but we just announced our new version <gasps> of our of our, of our our brand. It's a, it's gonna be like an energy line. Ooh. Um, so I'm really excited about that because we've been working so hard on this on this product. Show the logo, we got I, a logo. So yeah, logo yeah. On our Let's bottle. show it. And uh, yeah, this is our hydrating logo technically because it has the little water drops Your in it. But our, our energy one is gonna have lightning bulbs in the Wow. Outdoor. Oh my God, that's so cute. Yeah, that's I'm cool, actually right? drinking the energy one He's right actually now. drinking the energy one, yeah. Wow. Is it like, is it like a, a mixing pack? Cause I know like, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a same thing. Pack. It's like on the go stick yeah. packets. Got and, it. Uh, when does the be... energy one come out? Uh, when does this episode come out? Two no. weeks. And next oh, so it'll be this out. Friday. It'll be okay, out. Got it, got it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's coming out Monday. Where can you buy it? At tastesalute.com. And how do you spell it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Wait, I told you not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs> no, no, that's why I asked, God how do you spell just... salute? I don't even yes, know how to spell no, it. Sure. I, asked, <laughs> I asked Manny, I was like, how do you spell salute? I said it was a shameless bro. No, no we literally, like, we have it on our board, like, talk about salute. So we literally, that was part of it. We're talking about it, like, genuinely a peak of mine. Part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, so, it's your brain. Yeah, I'm an energy you drink a holic. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Like I drink like and like Celsius is every single day. Like I'm obsessed. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like to me, I'm like that's so exciting. It's gonna yeah, make like, a great I'm replacement excited. for your Celsius. Oh, is addiction. it? I'm excited you, to replace yeah. it all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like yeah. no more, no more Celsius. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Sorry, no more. Yeah. Um. And then. Do I say my peak? Yeah, 90 peak. Give okay. it to us. Um, as you guys know, I, I'
My engagement party is this Saturday. Where am I yes. going to be? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so woo, woo. I feel like if I didn't say that, I'd get my ass with by Karen. Right? Like, <laughs> she would, she would absolutely, with as, her as I should, as, as <laughs> yeah. I should. With her um, nail like that. No, 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 but honestly, super happy. Uh, Karen's been putting in so much effort into this party. As you I guys know, she would. I uh, can imagine, yeah, honey. Uh, so we've been, you know, going back and forth with... Um, Everybody involved in it, and then we're finally basically done, you know, and and then yeah. we're just gonna Focus party it up. Just just arrive, get there, and she's gonna look beautiful. I'm, Always, you're gonna look fine. I'm gonna look fine. <laughs> you know? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a bunch of family so coming excited. over from Mexico. Oh uh, she's no having way. a bunch of family. Yeah, it's like it's like a mini wedding. Yeah, this is crazy. gonna be I mean, so cool. Crazy. I'm so excited. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're yeah. all so going. Excited. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of so course. I'm excited. Like, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Like I met up with the DJ last night and everything. Did you? Really? Yeah, just kind of like going over the playlist. Has it been stressful? Like kind of playing things like this? I can only imagine. Like I think I think I think. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Especially when you want it to like all be perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, definitely a little because you know things can happen. But no, we uh Karen hired a party planner. Oh, okay, good. Oh, there, 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 there. And, and, yes. and they're amazing. All you, you gotta do is show up. Literally with fun. a party yes. planner. Yeah. But it's yeah. gonna be like uh like two hundred people, maybe a little less. Okay. Yeah. Wow. And we got all the bottles already. The bar. I wouldn't doubt everything. that for one second. And it's yeah. an all white party. I love that. And it's an yeah. all white. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Everybody's, everybody's like an all white. Everyone in all white after July fourth. Be I like the it. Hamptons, I, baby. I, yeah, period. I said, Karen, what She said, look hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look hot. Remember on White Chicks, it's like an all white party? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you know this is all white yeah. party? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so is there, is there cheese the in this quiche? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Remember when they're telling the jokes? I'm like, you said it was a Nikoi salad. When it's it's a Nikoi salad. salad. <laughs> oh my God, White Chicks. Awkward laugh. Like this is like one of my favorite movies of Love all, all time. time. Literally, so good. and Mean Girls. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. They go hand in hand. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, super excited about that. So we're all so much excited fun. about yeah. that. Yeah. And I'm excited for everybody that that knows about uh, myself and Karen to see all the pictures and the videos and stuff like. that. Are you gonna like get recorded? Anything oh yeah, like, I just, like, I, just yeah, yeah. I got a videographer, photographer, okay, cool. uh, everything. He's yeah. going all out. This is That's a pre wedding. Good, this yeah. is the it pre wedding. Is. It's literally, it really is. It's literally a mini wedding. Yeah, yeah. so we're very excited. Because it's like a party and like a dinner. Is it like? Is it like no? Both, so a lot of people think it's like a it's like a dinner. But I'm okay, like, okay. no, no. There's like no assigned seatings. There's nothing. Okay, perfect. It's basically a long ass cocktail hour. Wow, genius. <laughs> oh, okay. But but there's gonna be like lounge chairs everywhere, so like cocktail tables. Yeah, and then it's just gonna be like a really nice just. We're all just gonna hang out for That's a long time. That's so perfect. We're gonna have a bunch of food, a bunch of things going on. So yeah. Wow. This is my first adult wedding in like not eight years. I can't. Dead oh ever. really? Dead ass. Like in like eight years, I would say. I haven't gone to a, like an adult like friend wedding in like no eight years. No way. Have you ever yeah. been in a wedding like uh, as a groomsman or something? Um no, I've never even been in a wedding in my whole life. Yeah, me neither. I've mm -hmm. been in weddings so many times. Yeah, I was really? gonna say I know you really? have for a sure. Lot of times. Well, I mean, like you're in Florida. Alabama. I feel like, yeah, or Alabama. So right. people get married people young. People get married there, young. Yeah. So everybody was getting married right outside of high school. Me and really? Ty were just not interested in getting married right outside of high school. Yeah. We dated for like six or seven years before we got married. Wow. We moved to California. We just did it at the courthouse. We didn't tell anyone. Not wow. even our parents. Mm -hmm. Low key love. Yeah, we were literally yeah. like, no way. Yeah, we were like, should we just get married now? We're like, okay. We used the photographer <laughs> as the witness. Wow. Yeah. I'm like lightly eventual about it because I wish I was part of her wedding. Like now looking back, now that yeah. we're friends, I'm like, yeah. I can't believe you took that for well, me. Well, how long you should have a whole wedding thing. Yeah, well, how, right. how long has it been? It. It's been, Ty, how long have we been married? Maybe six years. Tyler's eyes just got really okay, wide. So, he's like, he's like <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. So I think like, <laughs> <laughs> we should have like a 10 year kind of like right? destination wedding. Oh, that would be fun. And they kind of like, like, like redo your vows. Yeah. Renew the vows. That would be, cool. renew that would be really cool. Bridesmaids and everything. Yeah. I'll be the one. Of one you have to wear a fucking dress, and I want a tube top dress. Fuck, too. not two. No, <laughs> yeah. I have to show my shoulders. Yeah. You have to wear a fucking dress. Fuck. Maid of honor is a big responsibility. I mean, it really is. these linebacker shoulders. No, out, honey. not in the fucking. You basically dress. gotta be the the, the party planner. Yeah, yeah. No. the planner it's of like, everything. It's that hard. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you yeah. take the pictures on you. I'm thinking about bride's made the movie. Nope. It's yeah. gonna be different than Worse. that. <laughs> Are we all Not gonna get that. sick at that Brazilian it's place? <laughs> and shit ourselves. And shit in the sea. That was yeah, so funny. And shit in the street. That was another great movie. That was another great movie. That one is so That's good. That's another good one. When she's doing the like Spanish bit, it's hilarious. When oh she's doing the toast, it's the best. La biblioteca. Yes. La escuela. That's literally me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Mexican. And that's literally me. And I'm here with literally like 
the top Latino podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. And the best Latino podcast. We don't like podcast. to claim it. Yeah, people just say you that. You sure? Because I think in the last episode people. you did claim it. Who is people? Yeah, who is people? Google. 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 We call ourselves the best podcast we in do. the world. Yeah, we do. In the wow. world. We do. So, claim so, what like, you claim. I agree. I agree. Best Latino yeah, podcast. Thank you. Claim thank what you claim. Manifest it. We don't really say it. We just implied. We just Google it. And then it's just like, oh shit, it's us. I guess it's us. That's crazy how you're the first one to pop up. Right. Yeah. It's all the Latino podcast. They it's just read the Google headline it's every some, episode. It's a privilege. It has it's to actually be a the, privilege for you guys to be somebody here. Somebody has to be the guy. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Okay, tell us your piet. Your piet. Oh, well, shit, I forgot we were doing yeah, pits. Right. Oh, yeah. wait, we're done. Um, <laughs> my pit's lame. I just don't have a lot of pits. That's great. Right? That's good, though. No, that's good. Right? When like, it's yeah. good, it's good. Oh, we have to take a break. Ty's like, take a break. Okay, Ooh, we'll come back with our pits. We'll come back. Come back with the pits. We'll be right back. Thank you so much to Adam and Eve for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage, you guys. With all the bad news about prices these days, which is crazy because they are going is up. through the roof. It's nice to know that Adam and Eve is still offering the best deals at adamandeve.com. Get 50% off plus free shipping on almost any item with the code FOOL. But it's a sex positive store. They yes. have lingerie. They literally they have so many different things. Yeah. They have such amazing deals happening. They ship everything in discreet packaging. They have so many different options on their website. And the best part is, is that free shipping on it. Inflation has gotten so high, but they're giving 50% off almost any item. Not only will you save money on gas, movies and dates and dinners out, these are the things, these items, whatever you might want, will be delivered and you'll be satisfied, I'm sure, with a guarantee. So guys, don't forget to use the code FULL at checkout to get 50% off almost any item. And free shipping. It doesn't matter what you choose, it will all be packaged discreetly for free. Go to evaneve.com right now. We're back with our pits, guys. I'm gonna start with mine. Mine's lame. I don't have a good pit, which is kind of a good thing, but mine is that my nail's missing. So I'm talking to you guys. I feel like I don't have fingertips. <laughs> it's very weird. Like Imagine, don't they're look like, close. What? I can't tell. They're, they're, they're normal. Like, they're I normal normally nails. Have, like, like, like they're usually like, like nice nails. Claws. They're good. Thanks. Laura, they all look identical. I don't see what the. You made that up. You made it's it up. So <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard. No, day. but it's like they're not like you don't my have acrylics claws, on. My yeah, okay. Okay. you know what Got I mean. It. Las yeah. uñas. It See? literally feels like I have just knuckles. Yeah, Got Got that's it. how I feel talking. It's I'm just talking like this. <laughs> You're strong oh, yes, hands. It's strong hands. I'm pointing at you like this, yeah. but when it's I got a nail on, I mean what I say. You know, it's serious. No. Exactly. It's devastating. But you will have them before the engagement party. I will of have an appointment oh, on Friday. Okay. Appointment right. on Friday. We're I'm set. I'm assuming nice. Love it. Yes. What are you going to wear, dude? I already ordered a dress from okay, Revolve. Okay, T-T-T-T-T. And you'll get it And I showed it to Karen. It's here already. Wow. Okay, perfect. All white. All white. All white. And all white party. Very cute. All white. I need to figure out what I'm going to wear. Top and so. bottoms, Manny. Don't fuck around. Shoes can be any color you want. Okay, T. Ty just okay. said when you said that. He said. Tops and bottoms. Yeah. Last time Stop I was at an all-white party, I wore lime green. You remember that? <laughs> Melissa's birthday party. I walked oh, in yeah. lime green. Oh my god, yes. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. What a Fail. fucking color. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Was it an all-white party? It was, was either like... sequins or all-white. Oh, okay. And I walked lime in green. a lime green blazer. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you look good. Trauma. That's that my trauma. trauma. That um, okay, my pit of the week. Okay, so we just had 4th of July happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, so I'm very much the type of person that's like, I like to share things like on my stories or just like things that I feel like I want to share. Like, for example, like I feel like, you know, freedom for everyone when it comes to every person, not just like, you know, cis, white, straight kind of situation. Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, yeah. well, what about freedom for trans, freedom for gay? Like, I, so I was kind of sharing things like that where I'm like, I feel like, you mm -hmm. know, I should be able to share this stuff. Because as someone who is Latino Same. and gay, I'm like, I want to share, you know, those of things. Of course. So I got a lot of DMs that were like, well, if you don't like America, then just leave. And I was like, that's actually not what I'm saying at all. And I yeah. wanted to explain it a little bit more because what I'm trying to say is that I'm not saying that I like hate America. Yeah. What I'm saying is I would like it to be better. Of course. Of I course. think a lot of people are like, oh, well, if you don't like it, then like you should, shouldn't leave. be here. Right. 
I got so many gems that were like that that were just very and like I would click their page. It's very like, you know, Isaiah three four. It's always you know, four mother of four. Like yeah, it's yeah. always like that kind of situation. Where I'm like, yeah. why does it need to be like, oh, you should just leave America then? And I'm like, like so I'm, not, I'm not saying that. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying that I want to leave America. I'm grateful to be in America. It's like if you have I a want complaint, more. then leave. That doesn't make no, any totally. sense. No, totally, it doesn't make sense. You know? I'm like, I, what I want is like, I just want more. Yeah, you know, I want more for me. I want more for you know people, everyone, things mm -hmm. like that. More for women. Yeah. So it was just like that was a little bit of my pick. So I was like so not understanding, but and not even to get what people were saying. Yeah, but not even to get political. Like, like this is America. That's what makes America. That's what makes what America, America. Is, right? People having opinions and people yeah. like talk and Being share their- Being able to express their exactly, opinions to see and growth. make change and growth. Yeah, That's exactly. like the point in the so country. So it was just really strange that I was getting the like, oh, then like go move somewhere else then. We don't like want you even here then. That's the most dumb. And I was like, I don't think you guys are understanding like what I'm trying to say. It's yeah. like, I just want bet it to be better. Did you respond to like anybody? I didn't, didn't. I ended up not responding because I was like, you know what? I don't even want to get into it. Yeah. Because I don't think that people were, if people were looking at the things I was posting and like reading what it was saying, mm -hmm. I think they would have got the vibe. But I think yes, they just see something immediately and they're just like, ugh. You don't appreciate America. Yeah. I'm like, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm actually very great. Like, there's places in the world that like being gay is a death sentence. So like, yeah, I'm grateful truly. to be an American and yeah. in California there's some especially. Countries you can't even go I can't to. even go. I can't, I would yeah. love to be able to go places, but I can't. So I'm. It's not. I'm saying I'm not grateful. I would just like more. Mm -hmm. Like why? And like why not? Like mm -hmm. I want more Absolutely. for my people, and I want more for women. I want more for everyone. Like yeah. I don't understand why. I is that's wrong. Yeah, or even you it's have not. an opinion on this like podcast, the one that you guys have, and then her yeah. just saying like, well then if you don't like it, get out. No, well, yeah, literally, right, it's like right. exactly yeah, that. Right. Like, well, I'm like, I want this to be a better yeah. podcast, more. and I want to like, yeah, exactly. I just want so it to you're be better. bringing yeah. up the conversation. Yeah, so it's a conversation, wow. so I wanted to talk about it, just yeah. on like just on our podcast, because I can, um, and just being like, you know, that's not what I'm trying to say, and I think that when people go there immediately, it's like, Try not to be so defensive of someone else's different opinion so quickly. Yeah. You know, because that's not what I was saying. I wasn't saying that I want to leave America. I'm saying that People I wish America was so more. People take it so personal. Yeah. So personal. Mm -hmm. And even if you were right or wrong, what is it to anybody else? Exactly. No, literally. Like, exactly. I, I just understand. So that was like my pit that I was going to turn into my peak. Ooh. To explain it. Wow, yours was wow. so Ooh. deep and poetic. Mine was fucking fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what makes our podcast our podcast. <laughs> it is. You're right. You're sometimes right. it's Steven, sometimes it's not. My like, fucking fingernails. <laughs> Shit. You want to take that yeah. back? Yeah. You want to do another pit then? I'm gonna yeah. do a second. Everybody gets two. No, I'm kidding. Josh, Sebastian, one of y'all are up. Well, go oh, yeah, go first. I don't have a pit, man. I feel bad. Um, I, yeah, I feel like things have been going so well lately, but uh, <laughs> I, okay, I, I got a pit real quick. Yeah, real quick. Too. Uh, Mine's kind of lame too, but I, I don't know what I'm gonna wear for your party, so that's kind of like my favorite. Someone help Josh. Really stressing Someone about help. it because yes, it's because fit. especially we had like a little pool pool day at your house, yeah. And I feel like Karen was like, she's like, I need you to like know what you're gonna wear, like step, <laughs> like step, step your shit step, up, step yeah. your shit yeah. up. Yeah. Like the expectations are high. Step it up. She's, and, uh, she, yeah, she's definitely. Like, I gotta wear step white. up, dude. I'm gonna yeah. wear white. Yeah. Where do you but, guys shop? Where do you guys like to shop? A favorite store? Uh, I'm gonna say Zara. Zara yeah, Zara is my favorite. Go to like if I had to go to the mall real quick. Totally same. I'll go to Zara. Yeah. It's I don't know. Same. I use a lot of online shopping. So, yeah. Same. so do I. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, we're not wearing white. If just so you know, you lucky. Boy. I mean, that's what you, yeah. I figured <laughs> you figure, that you're right? not gonna wear white. Um, you know what's crazy is party. that throwing an all white party, there's so much confusion. Really? Why? Karen is like, why is everyone texting me saying like? All white. I don't really get it. What do you mean? No way, dude. Swear. Are they making it a Can I work thing? cream? No, 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 no. no. Okay, I was about to say. What's happening here? Like, no Latinas allowed. No. <laughs> white only. Oh, white only party. Oh my god. Wait, you're gonna stop calling it an all white party? All no, all, no, cream. all cream New party. Name. Just, New name. Not that. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Just making uh, sure. I just need to no, <laughs> like, So can I wear this or that? I was like, look, bottoms. Tops. White. Wait, white. Tops, bottoms. Yeah. All white. You don't have to be super fancy. You don't have to just make sure you you look like a piece of paper. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Or rice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but um, Karen just wants people to know, like our guests, like just dress like if you're going to be in Miami or at a right. day Got party. It. Boho. Just Got sexy. It. Just, yeah. just yeah. impress me. Scream yeah. sex. Impress me. Yeah. Impress me. Yeah. 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 So wow. th that's really it. The pressure's on. So what are people confused? They're like, what do you mean by all white? Like, like, they're, yeah, like, they're like, like, like the shades of white? Yeah, like, they're like, just white. Just, yeah. they're all like, I don't have pants or I don't have this. Or oh, like, okay. Like top awesome. and bottom? Just like two, like a lot of questions. Got it. You yeah. Know? Got it. Yeah. Well, like, there's going to be so many people that just wear white top and black pants. Yeah. I'm 100% I told Karen, positive. I was like, I can't wait to see who's going to wear like, a white shirt and denim ass. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I, like, it's gonna happen. That's coming. Like, that's I'm fully sure. I'm fully and I cannot wait to roast them. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you guys gonna do a toaster or anything? 
Yeah, like a little speech. Oh, kind of yeah. you, have to, right? you got to. I know yeah. you do. You do. I'm yeah. just yeah, kidding. Yeah, yeah. I don't like doing things like that. Can you shout out? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a shout out? <laughs> Can you shout out? Yeah, <laughs> And I just Can do shout a, out collab, dude. <laughs> I just do like a really romantic speech, and I was like, "All right, guys," and then uh, I'm just a doing word a, from I'm, our sponsors. A word from Josh. I'm doing him a favor. Yeah, a word from yeah, our sponsor. Word from my sponsor. <laughs> Josh, uh, you want to come up? He's just drunk as shit. <laughs> I don't want to come up. <laughs> no, I'll go to. up. I'll go up. I definitely go up. Just ruin the whole night. <laughs> I would never wow, go. I love that. Yeah. So, what's your pit? Uh, my pit is definitely. I have two cars that aren't registered right now. <gasps> I need to go a to, to, to. Oh my god! <laughs> a, literally a, a Disney villain. villain. I need. A Disney villain. I need to go to like Triple N. Uh, register. Register my cars. Yeah, oh, that's so. Yeah. And I'll I go with you because I, I got one too. I guess they need smogs too and oh, everything. Shit. The whole. Yeah. The and whole it needs new tires. Are these your fun cars? Yeah, both of them. How are they not registered? Well, they're registered. They just need the registration renewed. Got it. Mm. Got so it. So technically, if they're not renewed, they're that's not registered horrible. right now, right? That's right. Horrible. And like, if you're driving, you're gonna yeah, get pulled I over. I've just been so oh, busy. No. Like, I just yeah. been so busy. So you can't with, even like, drive them. I no, technically no, because the stickers. Oh, so you do drive them. I mean, I've been pulled over <laughs> from registration. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got, yeah. I got yeah, put in the back of the police ya. car. What? For that? For that. No. Do you remember that shit? Remember that? Remember that trauma? The dude pulled trauma. That that was it was it was trauma for me. I would love to see you in back of a cop car. No, I would die laughing. You guys, I was not well. The first time you told me I bust out laughing because the vision is so funny. But imagine my gay ass. He was off like the off the like dark ass alley road, and like the guys like just like hey, just get out of the car and go to the back of my car, and I'm like, why would I do this? Yes, yes. No, he's there's like oh like there's there's like cars going by like why don't you get in the back of my car? And I'm like. Okay. There was no I literally, there, as by a the female, way. would not. I'd be like, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Say, You're gonna have to fucking arrest my ass because I'm not getting in the back of your car. But see, okay, as long but as like, I hadn't done what did anything, touch you? you know what I mean? I, but I didn't even know what I did. So he, he was like, you just said, yo, can he you was like, oh, license registration. I'm like, yeah, here you go. And he was like, oh, hmm, can you go what? to the back of my car? He's like, oh, here, get out of your car, go to the back of mine. And I was like, for not having your tags up to date? And it was because my tags weren't up to date. That is And you guys, I was on my way to a hookup. No. Yeah. Did you tell him about that? No, <laughs> he would he would have actually arrested me for yeah, real time. Yeah, he No, and it was like because it was like what like ten p.m. It was like late at night. Yeah. And honestly, after that, I was like, hey, I'm not gonna be able to make it because I was so not in the mood yeah, after that. After that yeah. No I was way. shook. Terrified. You guys, I'm in the back of the car. You can't like get out. There's no handles. No. Like, yeah, yeah. It's literally I'm over here like this, like. And the seats mm -hmm. are like plastic. I'm also like low key scared of like a gay hate crime, like in a weird way. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, like yeah. I, out sure. in the area that I was in at the time was like a very like, you know, not the most like liberal area. So I was like. Mm. What Chick if he's like, yeah. like, what if he's so not like about it? You yeah, know? and I wasn't like glam or anything, but I was still like, oh my god, imagine if you were glam. No, I can't. Like that always like gets me like a, a little extra nervousness. Oh, well, was I'm it just, just like, a fix a ticket at the end of it. Like, was he like, just go get your tags? No. So then you? at the end of it, he goes, okay, um, I'm just gonna let you go without a warning. No or ticket. Or with a warning, with no, no ticket. ticket. And I literally was like, like so just, why was I in the dude. back of your car? This whole time. So yeah, yeah. maybe you had a power trip. And then being inside your car, weren't you guys like parallel to each other? He didn't need to get out of his car at all. I didn't have to get out. Yeah. Like, why would I have gone now? He's like, oh, because the car's going by. There was not one car that went by. It was literally late at night and off road. It's for your safety. In the dark out. Yes, for my safety. Yeah. I personally and think I like, he what? thought Manny was somebody and he wasn't. You know, he like oh, ran his name. So yeah. he's like, let me go oh, ahead and lock okay. this bitch down in case it's who I'm looking for. He Ooh. looks familiar. What if it was something like that? So maybe. And like Manuel Gutierrez is a pretty common name. It is. It's a common name. So he's probably like, Oh, this isn't the guy. Once he ran your name, it was like, never mind. Just get out. Bitch. Oh, maybe you thought I stole the. Maybe I. Maybe you thought I stole <laughs> the car. Maybe. Because like I'm maybe. also like, driving yeah. like a nice i8, and I'm literally True. in like a hoodie and See, sweats. See something like yeah. that. He like, thought I, maybe something I looked was ugly. going on. Oh, I didn't. Not ugly. I didn't. <laughs> I showered. I was like <laughs> really pristine. Yeah. But I was like, why did he? It was just very strange. The whole experience was really weird. Damn. Have you guys ever, ever had any weird like cop encounter? I have had a ton of cop encounters, but they've were all like, been like legit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, were, they were worthy. They were, yeah, 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 yeah. I've only had one weird one. What was the weird one? Ty used to live in a trailer park. Sorry, Ty. <laughs> His giggle. Uh, I was like this in a trailer park. <laughs> I love how Laura literally looked at him for like a couple of seconds and was like, sorry, Ty. <laughs> I'm going to read you right now. Listen, yeah. in Alabama, if you go to college, you there's so, trailer parks. So, so, so. A lot of the kids like live in trailer parks, so it's fun, yeah. and you get way more space than a apartment. Yeah. You oh, know okay. what I mean? So, yeah, that makes sense. Also, it's Alabama, so I mean, you know. 
It is yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah. Where's my all them people at in the trailer park? <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, a bunch of trailers have been getting robbed, and I would leave there on Sunday night because I had to work on Monday and drive back into where I'm from, and it would take me like an hour and a half. So I would leave like at 11 o'clock, so I'd get home by like 1 to go to work in the morning. And so I would leave there late, and a cop pulled me over, and then he parked behind me at a gas station. I drove all the way to the gas station because I was like, he's going to murder me, <laughs> and because I wanted to be lit up. Yeah. And he went the fuck off on me because I took too long to pull over, pull over, and I guess he thought I was being suspicious. Uh -huh. Oh. I'm like in my nursing scrubs. I have laundry. He starts going through my laundry. I had on. What? Old... He starts searching your car? Yes. Oh my god, see, that's and weird. I didn't oh, yeah. know that. I don't think he could do no, that. No, not at all. Unless well, you right. allow him to. I probably told him he could. Yeah, I don't remember. This was. I was so scared. Yeah. He even. I had a cup of rotten orange juice that had been there for like four days in the sun, and he was like, "What's in that cup?" I was like, "It's old orange juice." <laughs> It's, started, all, it's, it's all started, fermented. It's it fermented. Yeah, it's it actually was. alcohol now. <laughs> I get arrested. It's just grape juice. He yeah. went the fuck off on me and For basically thought I was robbing the trailer. <laughs> what? No way. He thought I was and some scrubs. He thought I was the thief. And he, st he started sniffing the orange juice cup. And in my face Ugh, sniffing it. I would it. be like, <laughs> I was like I'm this. Four day of orange juice. Yeah. I'm like, That's sorry. disgusting. <laughs> I know Ty was saving up that citrus for his fucking citrus absinthe. Literally, <laughs> apparently. Anyways. That's sick. It was so scary. I thought he was going to beat my ass. He was so Absolutely. mad. Absolutely. It's so it scary. It was my I fault. That. I took too long to pull over, but I was scared. He lived in the fucking woods in a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. You never yeah. know. No, I get that. <laughs> I know? was in the woods when I got fucking pulled over. Really? I wanted just to it get to the gas station. I mean, it was like northern, not northern California, northern, like the valley and northern valley. Yeah. Have you guys ever had any weird experiences with the cops like was it something that was like uncomfortable where you felt uncomfortable the first time i got a dui <laughs> way to start a story okay i, okay. I, I, got, okay. DUI. I got one i, I didn't got know one. that okay so i got pulled you're over you're gonna get kicked off the podcast now oh, the i saw the look on your face he's like you got a dui you, got a DUI. you circles like no <laughs> <laughs> but i got pulled over because of my tent my tent was like too oh, too, too, too dark oh. yeah and i have a i have a friend who's a cop and he said you're you're most likely gonna get stopped because your tent because it's really dark but yeah. if you want to like get away with it just like roll your windows down because they just want to be able to see inside the car okay right. so the girl i was dating at the time um she had just like done her hair we were like headed to like my friend's house to like go to like a so those windows weren't whatever. going down no right well mine did because it was a cop that went on the side of me so i just pulled mine down okay. and i didn't put hers down because i was like there's no need with my luck there was another cop behind him who oh went around God. i know dude, it, was, it was crazy oh it was like my yeah God. and uh he yeah he went on on her side saw the tent and then pulled us over and specifically told me like do you know why i pulled you over and i was i was so confused i was like no he's like your tent's too dark but i had a closed beer in like oh. in the middle of my thing so i had been drinking a little bit i was pre-game but nothing crazy it was yeah. like 8 30. you weren't trash uh -huh. no no not at all i was going to go get trashed and and then yeah and he like told me to get out of the car and uh, i had been dope been pulled over for a DUI before, and I've passed the sobriety test, um, but I didn't have to blow. This is the first time I did it, and mm -hmm. the, apparently the, guy, the the cop didn't have like a little thing, so he like let me go because I passed the sobriety test. Mm -hmm. So I thought, I'll just do the same thing, because I know I could pass. Yeah. So I kept saying like, hey, if I pass this test, you're not gonna make me blow, right? He's like, no, 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 and <gasps> uh, he, he did. And I ended up blowing like, whatever, like barely over the limit. If it's like, I have a question, right. do they, like, do you have a choice to blow? Yes, you do have a choice. You can either you blow do. or they can take you into the hospital and they can do blood work. <gasps> yeah, and they, can just, and they can tell from your blood. And I've always heard that no. it's better to blow because you have a better chance of getting away with it versus the blood. Blood the alcohol ain't sinks lie. in. Yeah, and the blood work <sighs> will not lie. Oh my God, you're right. But just to wrap up the story, my girlfriend at the time did not have a driver's license. Uh, she, uh, I think she had just turned 21, um, never been on the freeway, nothing like that. They just let her take the car and she was actually a little more buzzed than I was. Oh. But they didn't even check or nothing. These cops are like idiots. They were just so happy that they busted somebody. Of course. That they were like, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, they want to move on to the they next. They just want to move yeah. on to the next. And I was like, you guys are so fucking dumb. You just let this girl wow. drive this car who's no license, who's probably more intoxicated than me on the freeway. Uh, but I had another friend who was like guiding her and just making sure that she was oh like, Oh my Damn. God. That's so crazy. That crazy. is the worst day ever. I mean, that sounds like horrible. Yeah. And, and then I spent the night in jail. And that Did took you? some push ups. I lived a whole life. In jail? In Did jail, yeah. I had that? to. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, like the alcohol was kind of kicking in. So like, when I got so to jail, like, I was like, Gotta do some push ups. Yeah. yeah. Gotta <gasps> claim my territory. I Did was scared, you? actually. I was terrified. Oh my god! Claim I'm so not claiming your territory. If I was in jail, I'd be like, I wouldn't be someone's bitch immediately. <laughs> like I wouldn't survive. I'm, I wouldn't do well, well in jail. Myself now. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's shit. crazy. Did yeah. it, it took a while to pay the DUI. Uh, or were you already doing YouTube? 
no, I had just started doing YouTube, but it wasn't too expensive. People say that it's like ten thousand dollars when you yeah. get to mm-hmm. you. I, 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 luckily, I had like a family who was like a, a lawyer, mm-hmm. and he helped me like bring down the fines like bring and, it the down. and stuff. But I think I ended up paying like two thousand dollars. Okay. But I had okay. to go to like AA. I had to do like this course. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of time you waste. It's a lot of time you waste. Right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah luckily, and it stays on your record for that five years. That would be s- how many years? For five five years. years. I went to go get like the pre-TSA, and I couldn't. They didn't let me qualify for it. Oh my god! Because of that. Because of that. Oh my god! It really just fucks up your shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Holy shit. How about you? Uh, the craziest thing that I've ever done is just been tardy for class. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm a law abiding citizen, baby. I feel Absolutely. like I've seen I really him do crazier stuff than I'm retarded really for class. class. I think, I think I've been definitely arrested? seen. You've been arrested. I've never been arrested. You never had never? Really? I've never been arrested. You, you, you say like if I should be arrested. <laughs> I mean, I think it's a rite of passage at this point. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want you on the uh, podcast. <laughs> You're not cool. You're not, you're not bad cool enough. enough. Yeah, you're not bad enough. Yeah, no, you're I've, in the back of a cop car. I've never, I've never been arrested. No way. No. We're gonna change that. We're gonna change that. <gasps> La Pratica, ex prison. <laughs> We're gonna wow. record a podcast in, in prison. jail. Yeah. We're gonna do a makeup jail tutorial. It's gonna be through the glass. The little mic comes yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Just you guys That's interviewing so us. Literally yeah. back and forth. <laughs> okay, before we get into the next portion we got to take a break dang that was not fast we love you we'll be right back we promise we have questions to ask we We promise promise. (laughs) thank you so much to vegan more for sponsoring this portion of full coverage you guys if you guys have tried everything to get silky strong healthy hair and when i say everything i mean Everything. everything honey everything why don't you guys try giving vegamore a try basically it's a hair treatment that actually works yeah it's amazing guys we've done it all we've done avocado mask in mm-hmm. our hair mayo mask Egg. everything eggs but you can try Vegamore. It can really transform your hair. They have a clean and vegan approach to hair health, which is amazing. And they also use smart botanicals that promote visibly thicker, fuller, longer looking hair. I just feel like what's really cool is that it's really easy to integrate into the routine. Yeah. You know, it's like a, you can get like a shampoo, conditioner, really, really easy to kind of integrate and not it be like the the hardest steps ever, like crazy masks and things like that. Oh yeah. Shampoo conditioner, that's easy. We all do Very that. Very simplified. You know? And they have the GRO revitalizing shampoo and conditioner mm-hmm. kit. And that just makes it really easy to fit into your routine. You know, the best thing about Vegamore too is that it's <laughs> there is literally no risk to trying it because there's a 90 day money back guarantee. Wow. You guys, and 91% of customers say they saw visibly thicker hair with Vegamore. So I think it could be really worth the try when there's no risk involved. Couldn't agree more. Give your hair exactly what it's been craving with Vegamore. Go to vegamore.com slash full and use code full to save 20% on your first order. That's V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R.com slash full, code full to save 20% at vegamore.com slash full. back and we actually have some questions wait oh, did we get all the pits yeah we yeah. got everything all right we got everything that was good that was great guys all right i am still not over the jail thing to be honest i'm, it's, I'm a little that. hung up on so i'll probably have a few more questions <laughs> that i'll be <laughs> marinating on that that's very interesting to me anyways um sebastian lasik oh yes uh how was it it's literally the best decision i've ever Everybody actually it wasn't my decision Karen actually she decided to get it you. for me, you're yeah. It. But it was such a blessing that she did. Like mm-hmm. I always wanted it, but I'm such a little like wussy oh, when it comes terrified. to like when it comes to any type like of surgery. surgery. And that wasn't even under, crazy surgery. Not in, yeah. Like eight minutes. Max. Yeah, like Tyler told me like so much good things about it. Everybody did. I had no negative comments like when I announced it that I was getting LASIK. Um, best decision ever. Ever so ever. quick, right? So insanely quick. quick. It's Isn't crazy. crazy. When I got LASIK, like, I was like insane. I mean, it's just seen. I, I used to be able to see. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now I really wow. see. Wow. Realize, He's got realize. X-ray vision, I yeah. hear. That's crazy. Wow. I got LASIK when I was. How nice is oh, it? Oh, yeah. LASIK. Tw- so nice. Early oh, yeah, 20s. Yeah. The early LASIK, 20s. LASIK, LASIK. But that, fir- that first day, though, it ain't a joke. It's a doozy. That shit it feels like you have sand in your eyes like this. Oh, it was worse than sand. <gasps> and and my felt like sand. It feels like sand. The thing is, is that like, I... I don't do surgery. I don't do any of that stuff. <laughs> I, when I'm on over, I don't, I don't even take Advil. I don't take ibuprofen. None of that kind of stuff. Like yeah. I'm okay. scared of, I don't know. I have a phobia of like man-made pills. It's, yeah. it's, As you it's, should, I yeah, feel. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like I'm very, 
That's very her. organic That's type of guy. I'm wow. literally like any side of pain. Give me ten or six hundred. I, <laughs> I try to live through it, and if I take yeah. one, I only take one. There you yeah. go. One, 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 one like Advil. Little, uh-huh. a little, a literal oh, one Advil. Not. No dead ass. Yeah, I think Lord of Tyler's like no. I just don't feel like the. Whatever, like my body will recover. Anyway, uh-huh. so the the people they told me they're like, hey, do you do you want to take the Xanax? I've never taken Xanax. I only hear bad things about Xanax. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, right. Um, which I know it helps people. People that, but like people that, but you know it, what I mean. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Um. So I was like, no, I don't need it. Like I I told her I was like, is it gonna help me with my surgery? Mm-hmm. Like as in like me feeling anything yeah. different or make it a lot more easier? Blah mm-hmm. blah. blah. And then uh, she was like, no, it's going to be the same because we're going to numb your eyes anyway. I was like, okay, cool. So I don't need it. He goes, okay, I'll just put them in your bag just in case. I was like, okay, cool. So they do the thing. They slip my eyes open. They peel back my cornea. They <gasps> mm-hmm. fucking, they laser, the laser. me up. Mm-hmm. The first one was scary, sorry. The and first it smells one was scary. like fire. It smells <gasps> like burnt flesh. Burnt hair. Yeah. Yep. It's Whoa. weird. Yeah. It's like, I was like, you're like, is, burning, is, that, is that burning me? Okay? <laughs> is everything that's just your eyeball? You like, I actually can't see out of one eye, so is everything yeah, good? Just no, it's crazy because no, literally you can't see. They, they take a flap out of your cornea, oh, thing, mm-hmm. and then they're like, okay, I'm going to flap it open, and it goes like that, and it looks like you're underwater. Yeah. Really wow. quick, like, it's super blurry. But and not goes, black? You didn't see black? No, I didn't see black. I saw black when I did it. Like, really? Maybe that was 10 years ago. Well, I saw black when they were la- lasering me, but it was oh, like okay. black and lights, and it looked like I was in a galaxy. Stop. It was really crazy. Oh. It was insane, bro. Super insane. I feel like I would have needed the Xanax. Like, I oh, feel I like needed I it been, when like, I did it. I needed like, it when scared. I did it, yeah. No, when I, I when, nervous. I, when I try to do like, 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 cause I've done obviously like, um, other type of, um, pills, mm-hmm. not ecstasy, not ecstasy or anything like that. <laughs> but like, I, I think I remember like one time I had like an anxiety attack. So they gave me, I forgot what it was. Yeah. And that gave me more anxiety. Oh. Really? Yeah. I wonder I, if that was Xanax. No, was I feel like it like freak, like I freak myself out. Yeah. What yeah. do they call it when you're scared of everything? Paranoid. Pa- paranoid. I'm paranoid, yeah, paranoid. and oh, a hy- hypochondriac. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like a like, little bit with, like, of that. germs and stuff. I have that. I have that. Like sure. where you think everything is something's wrong with you, and then yeah. it's like spiraling. Oh, if you have like totally. a little headache yes, or something yes. like that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, what is that? What is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have I'm, a headache. You think yeah. it's a brain tumor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure people have it way worse, totally. but I have it like a little bit. Yeah. Um. So, so anyways, they go. Voop, 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 I'm done. I'm like, okay. Oh my god, that was crazy. And then once the numbing starts to go down, it's the numbing that goes out. That's fucks up. When the what. And and um, I didn't live nearby, so right. I I live obviously like an hour and a half from. It was in Orange County. I, oh, yeah. I did in San Diego. Yeah, yeah, it was like two and a half hours away. Oh my I god! You drove home that same day as well. Yeah, my, with my parents. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So right <laughs> when I got in the car, I was like, "Dang, this is crazy!" Like, damn, you can everything's see, yeah, pretty bright. Like, no, you can see. It's still a little like hazy, but you can see, bro. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's immediate. It's literally it's like as soon as you get off the table, you're it's like. A, Bro, I straight up took Whoa. a picture with like the doctor, like right <laughs> after, like yeah, thank you so much. Um, wow. And then it literally twenty minutes into the, the, the drive, I was like, damn, my shit's starting to burn. <gasps> mm-hmm. It literally feels like someone's putting a fucking lighter torch. in your eyeball like that. Yeah, no. a little torch. Like it really burns. So I messed up because I should have taken the Xanax uh. right before surgery, felt it after, knocked out in knocked the car, the fuck out. yeah, not felt that burning sensation. Maybe woke up a little bit later, take the, the other, other one. one. Knockout. No, they don't, they don't I don't drops that like continue the numbness. Like they, they, they no, don't give they, you those. No, you, they don't give you those. They don't give you that. That's like no. too. I think that's too like that's medical. That's too much. Yeah, that's too, that's yeah. too intense. Only if you like they won't that, give you that. numbing drops. Got yeah. It, got mm. it. Dang. Yeah. That's like lidocaine. Did you end up taking a Xanax once you got home? Yeah. So when I got Smart. home, I was like, oh, like cause I was starting to breathe heavy. I was like, <sighs> it was burning that bad. Oh, wow. oh yeah, bro. It's not just like. Do you have a high pain tolerance or low pain tolerance? For my eyes, I don't have any tolerance. Okay. Yeah. 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 Everything else. Yeah. Like when I get whipped and stuff like that. Whoa. Yeah, like the whips Whoa. and chains. Yeah, <laughs> they excite them. What can you do? They excite them. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but I took the Xanax and fell asleep two hours. I woke up. I still felt it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, took another one. I was like, fuck it. So I took another one and then I went to sleep. And then what? after that, popping Xanax. Like, oh, now he's popping. Zan- <laughs> he's like, I didn't ever he's take like, it. Zan- yeah, I was just don't even take Tylenol. <laughs> yeah, I was literally like this. <laughs> three, three Xanax later. <laughs> They're Tic Tacs, apparently. <laughs> One of those little things that come in the little head. Yeah, yes, it is. is. <gasps> Stop, heads are my favorite. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I love that. I had that, and then literally like eight hours later, I was just like, wow, I feel great. Wow. Really? Back to normal. Oh, yeah, and I never felt any pain ever wow. after that. Same? Same kind Same. of Same. The same. next day, I was like already like What's your vision? Uh, like all, all I know he is needs like, it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I have bad eyes. You should yeah. get, get it, it dude. Yeah, it's like life changing. I swear. So I had an appointment. I had a consultation. I did it all. And then like one of my friends told me that his mom like now takes like a pill every single day or else she goes like blind. 
it was literally like three days before my appointment and I just decided I get it I get it yeah you know I will say like you do have to like look into that shit because like my I'm more light sensitive nowadays which I mean I'll take the light sensitivity over like not being able to see as clearly I'll take the sensitivity but like I know this like one girl who she did it and like she no longer like produces as much liquid in her eyes Mm -hmm. so she has to do water drops they're so dry she doesn't make like she has to put drops in her eyes yeah all day like that too every day wow and like it like it like burns her eyes so she's like i would rather take not being able to see as clearly than deal with this wow so kind of depends like it really depends there was no way for her to know that that was she that's how the outcome was gonna known. be. For her. It's like it your body just reacted on the to it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's your body like how no, reacts yeah. you have to, to it. Yeah, it depends on the person too. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe my sister went to go get a consultation for LASIK as well, and they denied her because yeah. they said that she doesn't have enough cornea in her eye. No. Yeah, because th- like you like if you like really look at your eye like. Sideways. How much it bubbles mm-hmm. out? Uh-huh, how much it bubbles mm-hmm. out? Because it's not a perfect circle. You can see it's like a, almost oh, like wow. like a nipple. Oh. I didn't realize yeah. that. Yeah, don't yeah. look. <laughs> you, 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 get away from me. <laughs> you can't really see, but like it, it almost there's a lump, and yeah. that's your cornea in the back. You have to have enough because they're shaving a little bit. Yeah. Off. Oh yeah. my god. And that's like when you like people like to have an astigmatism, and it's like exactly. their, eye, their exactly. eyes, exactly, like, their eyes like this instead of like this. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's like you, you're is that like what more astigmatism means. It's like you means like you have like more of an oval shape. Yeah. Wow. Instead of it being yeah. like round. Interesting. Mm. I've always been able eye. to see. Really? No. You, got lucky. you don't wear contacts? Mm-mm, never. Oh, so you just wake wow. up that's and so go. Cool. I know. And yeah, everyone like talks about it. Yeah. Talks that's about That's so this not stuff. like, I feel like that's so like abnormal now. It like, is. That's yeah. so crazy. It is. I should need more care. I appreciate it too. I have really good vision too. Your yeah. eyes haven't changed since the surgery. Like you're still. I feel like issues? I could probably, st- I could probably get it in like a few years. Cause like, I feel like it it's doesn't stay as again. strong yeah. like really? forever. It like doesn't stay super, super strong forever. Yeah. So it's combining. Keep shaving your eyes. It's not as crystal as it was when I first got it when I was like, 21. Oh, wow. No, it's but, been like 10 your, years. Your sight automatically goes down as you get older. Yeah, That's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's probably your vision changing yeah, naturally. Just, yeah, and probably just changing. Well, that. Well, you know, when you but get, get older, you can see farther a lot better. Right, oh, and then I you can't see that. up close. You can't see up close, yeah. yeah. That's so true. But there's a surgery to see up close, too. Yeah. yeah. I'll do that, too. Yeah. They, they do like one in one eye, right? They do like want to see far, want to see close. Yes. My mom has one contact in her eyes, always. Oh, really? One contact in her eye and one doesn't. One is to see close and one to see far. Her well, real, like, not, she naturally sees far I well. I didn't know that. Wow. And she can't see as close. Well, so she has one contact in. Well, I was saying all with the LASIK, they do that. Like, that's what my I mom has. She has one wild. where, like, she can see close and then one where she can see far. That like, is and so your eyes well, that's, like, that's the, that's the, the beauty other. about LASIK is you get custom to yeah. your eye. Oh, each God. eye. Yeah, because yeah, you know when you <gasps> wear contacts cool. or glasses, it's just, like, <sighs> kind of like a one unit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with LASIK, it's custom for each eye. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so, oh, oh, yeah, because one eye might be, like, worse than the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one eye And you're able to laser whatever you need. Damn. Dang, we're so advanced. Thank you for asking about it. There's, it's super crazy advanced. It's insane. So advanced. Yeah, the, the, I asked the doctor, I was like, how much does this machine cost, a laser? Yeah. He said it's half a million dollars. I he expected says, more because of how I know, advanced same. it yeah, is. Yeah, that sounds crazy, but also not yeah. like insanely well, crazy. $500,000 for a laser? Yeah. That's a brand deal, bro. That's a... What? Yeah. 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 what? I said, what brand deal are you getting? Yeah. The fuck? I'm just kidding. That's a salute out here, dude. Yeah, no. That's a salute uh, brand deal. That's a salute brand deal. They like, were going to play your little shameless plug, but yeah. I'm sure you don't need it. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. I'm about to get brand deal. Why are you even doing the podcast with me? No. I'm trying to help you out, bro. Hey, why, why are you here right now, Josh? Why are you here? Leave. You get newts? No. No, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I have before, no. of yeah. course. Like yeah. At some yeah, point, totally. you're going to get something. I've gotten more death threats than I have news. And Whoa. honestly, I'd rather see a dick than someone tell me to kill myself. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Oh, my God. Like, honestly, come on. I'd rather see a vagina than that, too. Yeah. And I don't want to see them. No. <laughs> I'd rather no. do that than get, yeah. death Didn't get a death threat. Yeah. Send you know, the penis over. You know what's crazy? You get, like, you get dick DMs, right? Yeah. He said you get dicks you? first. I, he said he you get, he gets uh, dick I do too. get dick and He gets dick, dick and DMs. DMs. Yes. Damn. Both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do not request <laughs> them. I just don't mind if you send them to me. <laughs> That's crazy. No, That's yeah, all cool. the time. All the time. Lucky. Um, I, you know, surprisingly, when I meet people, they're always like, do you get, like, people DMing you all the time? Like, people that don't really know me, but they know me. Mm-hmm. Like, do you get people DMing you all the time? Like, naked pictures or, like, mm-hmm. chicks coming out to you? I swear. Never, bro. Literally, people are so respectful. Yeah. yeah. That's like, so people, good. That's good. people really respect Karen, and I, I love that. Like, it's like, a it's, fear. It's a fear. A fear. Of I think it's for a fear. They don't want to cross her. They don't want to cross her. Yeah, they don't. She's Latina. They don't want to cross yeah, Karen. That's a, that's a I think that's idea. what it is. I think they yeah. know. But I know. I do get a lot of males like flirting with me or, okay. or you know, doing that. Yeah. So that's cute. I, I like I don't, that. Yeah. 
That's yep. good. I get a ton. I get so many videos. Female of what? Females, what? Female, both. Of both. What, doing what? Nudity. I get nudity all the time in my DMs. Promise you. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I've got some crazy wow. stuff. Wow. I got some crazy stuff. Girls and guys, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Girls are actually crazier though. Really? I yeah, I've got full on performances. Oh, performances? Oh, no crazy stuff. <gasps> think of like the craziest thing you could think of. Like, no. I've, they've, 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 it's crazy. Sometimes I'm like, I'm kind of like thrown off. I'm like, is this like a real like person? Because oh like their profile will be like God. private. And oh, there's like okay. so like videos. It's, it's weird. It's weird. That is so crazy. I'm yeah. like, I don't know. I'm not really into like the unsolicited like nude pics. Like yeah. I'm not really into it. Yeah. Like I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. Like, that's a nude. Like I'm not like turned on by it mm -hmm. like, no, at no. all. I'm just like, oh, okay. Who on earth like, is whatever. turned on by a random ass picture of a dick in their Well, if you video? know them or like if you like them, yeah. I said random ass. Okay, yeah, yeah. Random ass. Well, it's like, what they said it to you randomly, but you know that person. Like that's a random ass thing. I guess True. so. True. I guess you're right. It's just like out of the blue. Yeah, like, out of the blue, right. I'd be like, why? I'd be like, kind of like, maybe Can I help? Can I help you? Like, what the fuck are you doing? I feel like dicks are so funny to look at though. Right? So funny to look at? Yeah, yeah. like in my perspective. Dick pics are hard. There's there's an art. They're, literally, like, they're intense. Yeah, they're they're literally hard. Literally. Not the art of taking literally. dick pics. <laughs> no, seriously. I, don't, like, like, I, don't I, know I think we just found our title. The art <laughs> of taking, taking dick, dick pics. pics. Yeah. I don't no, like, do that no more. I feel like they're really like dang, like as a guy to show like your thing, like that's what, like a lot. I never like, just show the thing. You can't like, just show the thing. There, like no, it's right? Just, yeah. It's just staring at you and go like this. It's just yeah. Like a bright just no arms. Just there. No, it's just a little creature. Oh, it's like a naked worm. It's a little it does. With a, like a little mole rat. Like a mole rat, a naked mole rat. That's hilarious. It's so weird. It's okay, true. our next question for you guys. I'm sure we're like an hour and a half in. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay, so we were listening to your last episode and you guys were talking about how we haven't seen the other side of the moon. Do you mm -hmm. guys believe in supernatural slash aliens? I do. Absolutely. Did you guys see NASA just released that yep. new photo? Yes, we did. The JW I telescope? did. Yes. No. So there's like this it's new state of the art like, telescope uh, that they've been working on for like God knows how long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it, no, it's been taking pictures for no. Yeah, they've been work. It, they've been constructing it for God knows how long, mm -hmm. but it's been taking pictures for a long ass time, and they're barely we're getting Receiving. revealed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have an image that's like literally a million miles away right now from from Earth, mm -hmm. and we we have the same image, but now this is like on a new yeah. high tech level. Yeah. And they were saying clearer. like, you look at this photo, and it's just like thousands upon of thousands of galaxies that you're just looking at and they're saying that it's what we're looking at it's like if you were to hold up a grain of sand into the sky like that's the like that's all we're seeing just that little wow. part of the, the universe yeah so to wow. think that we're alone they're is alone. like it's insane yeah but like the, yeah the ga same. there's like galaxies and who knows and what like are in the spiral those, galaxy everything who knows like yeah, everything. Everything. you see them perfectly you gotta look at this photo it's actually pretty badass i do want to i do it's see. honestly shocking yeah and, like, and i know like one in every six um stars has like a earth-sized planet around it like that's like what scientists what? say that like wow. one in every six so it's like imagine how many stars are in like a galaxy imagine how many galaxies like when you imagine all that and there's like all these earth-sized yeah inhabitable planets right yeah it's like there's gotta yeah. be like a oh little, yeah i 100 percent believe in all that shit there's do you believe no, that they're like fully like oblong, no like big eyes like, like elements no i don't know like hot like yeah, do you think they're like extremely hot? attractive, or do you think that they're like little, like tiny little creatures? Like, no, nah, they gotta be hot. They're so yeah, hot. right. Aliens are like gorgeous. Yeah, I think we have. They're not green with big heads. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. do you think that yeah. it's like that? Stuff no, I, yeah, I, I, I even like feel that. like there could be though. They're probably so fucking advanced that they're probably roaming Earth right now. They could. I mean, all the like all that footage of like UFO stuff, like people always like post. I don't know if it was Joe Rogan. It was like a podcaster was talking about if there were another alien life force, they wouldn't fuck with us because how basically we create our own demise. Like we're too smart to be. We're stupid. We're so smart because eventually we're going to cook ourselves off the planet and we eat each other and we eat our animals, which is like very odd for like a thing to do. Yeah. Like, like if an alien saw it, let's things. say. Yeah. For an alien to see that. So like, I don't know. That was a theory out there why aliens but don't if we were to like encounter like another planet that is like dumber than us so to say like mm -hmm. do you not think we would interact with them we feel, would yeah. oh, we, we would. would we totally would no question in my mind we'd be all up in that shit yeah. and finding a way Nosey to make money out. off of it sure. i would i would honestly like That's i'm so intrigued earth by does extraterrestrial yeah same beings. i can like talk yeah. about it all day like yeah. i love it and like i also like do believe in like the other supernatural stuff that goes on or like like spiritual ghosts let's say yeah like ghosts or mermaids 
mermaids, mermaids are out for me. Really? I'm going to throw uh, mermaids it's out. That's what I know. I only said that because Laura's like. He triggered me. Cause I'm like, <laughs> me. No, because I'll be like, well, what if there's like really deep, like dwelling mer creatures? Like, I'm very much that person that will be yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. what if anything I I'm mean, a cynic, exists? Like, I, yeah, feel yeah, like, yeah. I feel like if you believe in, you know, life on another planet, why not believe in that too? I mean,. They're, right. we're, we're barely discovering mm. things in the bottom I, of the I've been, ocean. I've seen really, those yeah. videos like, recently uh, too. Like yeah. Earth we is, just hit the bottom. We just yeah. hit the yeah. bottom of yeah. Mariana's yeah. trench. Like it's, it's everything is very brand new. So you would think that's like yeah. there's like you know so much information, which there is, but there's so much things that are undiscovered in the ocean. What about like a, what kind of blows my mind is like thinking about like another universe or another galaxy, mm -hmm. right? That's like from the past but mm -hmm. they were way more advanced than we are so they're more yeah. like futuristic yeah. it's kind of yeah. trippy to think about oh that my God, yeah. like way more advanced than us but long time ago yeah like wow. the mirror billions yeah. of years ago yeah. Where well, they're saying even like the the pyramids of giza yeah see like how the uh, fuck they do that right. shit yeah, yeah they mm -hmm. were like, saying honestly. that like after that like shit just fucking went south and and like <laughs> humanity had to restart because yeah. they were saying that they were super like a lot of people you know as stupid as it sounds but like a lot of people don't understand that those pyramids were made out of limestone mm -hmm. they were literally like the slickest shit and ever. laser yeah. cut laser how are they laser cut yeah. i have no idea but like Back right then. now they just look like like stones right? right but no it was like fucking and it's right in the center of uh earth and the sun it's insane mm -hmm. i believe so yeah it's like how the fuck do they do that shit? It's perfectly placed. And then also the like planet. the hieroglyphics, like showing like there's like hieroglyphic like, paintings yeah, and stuff like that yeah. showing like things coming from the sky and all yeah. this stuff. And I'm yeah. like, we've done some crazy stuff like in our day and age, right, with like technology and stuff. Yeah. And yet we still don't have the slightest clue on how they did that. That's, yeah. That's yeah. just crazy to me. Yeah. Like we have like phones that communicate with people across the yeah. That's my through the the wires. Wires. And having the internet yeah. on yes. our phones. But we can figure out how they did a little little pyramid shaped building thing. Right. It's crazy. Yeah. Right. We yeah. were talking about how the infinite, the infinite, the universe is infinite on the podcast the other day, and like we were telling the twins, it freaks that, me out like that. Like yeah, the universe gets me like. Ooh. No, we're telling like, the universe is infinite. So what that means is there's another Manny somewhere. Actually, I was going to ask you guys if there's another, another Laura. Earth. <gasps> I do. I do think that there could be another Earth. Like, I multiverse. definitely, definitely do think there could be. I like I other. Get that theory, but I don't understand the purpose of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what is yeah, the purpose of that? Yeah. Like, if there is, like, a creator who created the universe or whatever, mm -hmm. like, why would he do that? Like, yeah. if there's, like, an infinite why amount of, like, possibilities, why make another thing? the same possibilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a different version. Yeah, I don't know. That's, That's so true. true. Okay, wait, we have a game we want to play, and oh, it's shit. She's a 10. Oh, I'm yeah. ready. Okay, okay, I wrote down, like, Let's... several. We both did. Here we go. We have a bunch. Okay, ready? <laughs> yeah. She's a 10, but she expects you to pay for everything. Everything. Um, and you both have to do a number, days, of course. I'm talking and she's second my baby date. girl? Like, my girl? She's a 10. No, you but just, you just met her. You just met her. You just met her. You're getting to know each other. I think if you have that mentality, I think if you have that, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna pay for you, baby girl. Oh, right. But, but I get expecting it. But if she has a mentality, yeah. she's a straight five. Five? five. Five. Josh. Don't have that mentality. Please don't. Yeah. I don't have yeah, that mentality. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, ugly. Yeah. That's true. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Or no, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Wait, what, so what's yours then? Um, Remember, she expects it. Not that you're not going to do it. Josh is like, this is yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> 10. She's a 10. She's a 10. <laughs> she's, she's a 10. Josh's like, what else do you want, baby? <laughs> Like what else do you need from me? I told you guys, five hundred dollars an hour brand deal. This ain't a thing. This ain't a thing. I know. Season uh, eleven. Yeah. <laughs> Josh is like, yo, is hot. No. It's a different budget for Josh. <laughs> she's a hundred. No, I get honestly. I I agree with Seba. She's a five for sure. That, okay. Just five. That, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have. She's a ten, but she flirts with all your homies. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's even worse. I think. Yeah. Uh, those are good. Those are good. Uh, <laughs> I mean, are are we in love with her? Ooh, that's a good question. You guys, why? The relationship is serious. It's okay. There we go. Oh no, she's she's out. She's out. She's out. Oh, she's out. She's out. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so it's a zero. Absolutely. A zero. She's, she's, she's yeah. Out. yeah. If she was just like a like a fling or whatever, yeah, whatever. like eh, have fun. Like, whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's whatever. Yeah. But if it's like together with someone, yeah. No, Cut. she's out. That's like that's like less than a five. Okay, so then we'll, let's say these are like <laughs> it's serious for all of them. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Like, let's say it's serious. Cool. Right. She's, she's my girl. She's your girl. She's your girl. This person's your girl. Okay. She's and this is obviously all very hypothetical because you guys are both which our girls are ten. So exactly. Exactly. But this is like. Single world. Let's okay. Just cool, say. Cool, cool, cool. Hypothetical. Okay. Girl world. Yeah. She's girl world. a ten, but she wants to be in an open relationship, and uh, she's your girl. Ten. And she's your girl. That is a twenty. If I'm good with it, if she wants that, then so be it. Okay. You know, but if I'm not, right. if I'm in a position in my life where I'm like, no, I really want this thing to be a thing, and I just want it to be us, then I'd just be out. Okay. Know, that wouldn't even, right. like, that wouldn't even yeah. like lower zero. her rating. It would yeah, just be she's like, zero. not, not. She's, she's a, a zero. She's still 10. Yeah. But she's not my 10 anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So. 
I mean, same. If I'm cool with being in an open relationship and I'm in an open relationship and she, so is she, then you stick you stick to being a 10 because we both yeah. agree on it, right? We're both 10s. That's true. But yeah. that's not going to happen. If I'm going to have a girl, that's because you mind. I'm yeah, claiming yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Sure, I sure. completely yeah. agree. Sure. I feel I'm like you. as I've been younger, I've been like, no, I'll never do that. And now as I get older, I'm like, what I do that? I don't You're know. like, well, uh, it's, like I don't it's know. Hard. I don't. I don't know. Like, if I, I don't ever know. Would. I'm talking to big game right now, but I don't know if I could do it. It would hurt my feelings. If the you only way like, I would be in an open relationship is if we weren't that serious. Yes, yeah. exactly. Like, you know what yes, I mean? I'm, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. oh, you want to fuck around? I'll fuck around. Like, whatever. you know, whatever. But if we were, absolutely not. But yep. I think it'll fizzle yeah. out so fast as soon as we like start seeing other people. I don't think I'd probably. Right. Like, I don't think I'd go back. Or like, what if open relationship in the way of like, let's say it's like you bring home one person over and you guys played all three together. I'm not interested. And then being done with that. Some people are really hmm. love that. No, yeah. for sure. I mean, that's I'm, I'm thinking about that. like swingers. Yeah, like, yeah. Like how yeah. like they're in yeah. like happy they're just relationships. All tens. I feel tens like that's really popular in LA swingers. Absolutely, yeah. that whole upside down pineapple thing. Mm. What? The that's hell? very. I, I've heard about. If you've seen upside, upside down pineapple, pineapple they're, they're swingers. Swinger. Swingers. Yeah. It's their way of showing I'm a swinger. Where, oh, a swinger. where would you show it in your house? Anywhere, anywhere, bro. I can tattoo anywhere, wherever. Car, sticker, like anywhere. Anywhere. Upside down pineapple. What's, the, what's another... the backstory behind a pineapple? I wish I knew the backstory. I just found out the pineapple thing very recently. Swingers out there, tell us. Is that why you got a tattoo? Tell us. Tell huh? us. Is that why you got a <laughs> tattoo? <laughs> the upside down pineapple? Oh my god, I thought me thinking I had a pineapple first. I'm like, no, it's not a pineapple. You forgot about that I'm one. Like, what? Well, no, I don't have a pineapple tattoo. What the fuck? Mm. But I, I, I don't know what I would do. Like, I, If my partner was like, yo, like, I want to be in a relationship, I think I might just be like, no, I'm over it. You're yeah, done. I'm done. No, it's a complete turn off. Like, yeah. I just, I'm like, why, like, why would you want anything more? Like, especially when you're a catch. Like yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I agree. It's true. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next one. Okay. She's a ten, but she's rude to the waiters. Oh, zero. Oh. She's out. Zero. Yeah. I agree. Immediately out. Immediately out. That's like my biggest pet peeve. It's one of my yeah. biggest. Well. When people zero. ask like red flags, I immediately go to being rude, rude to waiters. If yeah. they're rude to waiters, is the biggest red flag for me. They're gonna be a nightmare behind closed doors yeah, if they're rude like that in public. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I've been. You know what's crazy is like I've been around influencers and so has Laura. We've been in a situation once. Where like the influencer was so fucking so hey, yo, really? same. to the same. waiter, and I was like really uncomfortable. I was yeah, because like, they were like, really, like, yeah, it sure does. Because like we're not friends. With I'm like them. this table's not like that. Yeah, no, no, this no. Bitch like that bitch like could that. be like that, but like we're not like that close with that person. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah. It made me want to die actually. It's, yeah, it's cringy. This is the worst. It is. Thing. I've been especially. Oh, sorry. I've been in cars where people are uh, rude with the Uber drivers. <gasps> oh, that's not. And the Uber drivers are just driving, and then like. Can you do this or can you do that? Or like, oh, it smells in here. Oh my God. And that reflects on everyone in the car. You know what I mean? That's all y'all are being rude then. Whenever people act like that. Like at a table, you're being rude to a waiter. This table's rude as fuck. The table's rude. That's what that is. is. And it's just like a horrible person. Like shut the fuck up. I was a waiter, I think though though, too. Like, so I think I even feel even stronger about it where I'm like, don't be like such a fucking cunt. And I literally had people that have been like- Straight zero. Snatch. Straight I'd rather zero. be in an open relationship. Same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. So I go above and beyond with like waiters and like people in service like that. I almost flirt. Like I'm too kind. Like Dang. I'm super nice. I'm super nice. You should be. As you should yeah. be. I think we got in trouble by like a girlfriend. Like I feel like you're being a little too flirty right now. I go, yeah, and I'm trying <laughs> like, to be nice. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> like, what do I, say? The tip I think a lot of people always take my niceness for being flirtatious as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. all the time. Like I'm the type like, that's like, time. I'm so sorry. Like yeah. whenever you have time, <laughs> no rush. Because if you'd like, yeah. I'm not somebody to be like ordering stuff or like demanding not. stuff. Totally. You know? Even yeah. if the sh service is shitty, I'm still like, whatever. Hey, like. Because they can be the weeds. They really can be busy. the weeds. They can be yeah. stressed out right now. It is what it is because there's literally nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Well, especially if it's busy. I'm like, can't you yeah. be empathetic in some way and understand that it's not like they're neglecting you specifically? It's a busy restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, but I'll yeah. straight up be like, is. I'm so sorry, but like whenever, like literally, whenever, whenever you, you have time, chance. whenever you get a chance, do you mind if I just get another Coke? Like, please, I'm so yes. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll literally be like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That's who I am. Yeah. I'm never like, I'm never like, I'll fuck with you, dog. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> um, okay, she's a 10, but not emotionally stable. She's crazy. <laughs> she's crazy. Isn't that all 10s? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're gonna be like 12. So she's a 10. <laughs> Isn't that all 10s? Uh, 12? She's a 10 then. All right. Uh, but just why, like, just like not emotionally think... sound. But like, know, yeah, but like, like, like freak out on like little things that shouldn't be really freak yeah, freaking out yeah. about. Cause I know for me, I'd be like two. Too. Get out of like, here. That's weird. Like, I don't like when people are like, I need you to be like a little more yeah. collected. I agree. I agree. I don't but like But she's a 10, though. But she's a 10. But she's, uh, a 10. she's like a six now. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Yeah, she's It'll lower. Pants. It'll lower. 6.4. Yeah. 6.4. Yeah. He said seven, <laughs> eight, maybe. <laughs> Wait, which is the
Oh. Maddie! I don't know. These are just coming to my mind. They just all came. She's a 10 like that? A 10, but doesn't brush her teeth or floss. And I maybe like has, this is something maybe we can work halitosis. on. Maybe has halitosis. Maybe. <laughs> this is like some Daddy, like. What the fuck? She might have halitosis. What exactly is that? That's like where you have like always bad breath, like constantly. Oh, like so it's not can't. her fault. That wouldn't be her fault. So that part, the brushing and the flossing would be her fault. See, I could work on that. Yeah. Her. Okay. Uh, you know what I mean? I mean, at the moment I'll when put I put in the work for her. Yeah. At the moment, I think Dang. I'll just rate her an eight, but I'll get her back to a 10 on some miscongeniality shit. Right, there we right, go. All right, all right. Yeah. Some Princess Diary shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some like I'll Princess Diary yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some quick stuff. Quick trust stuff. me, baby girl. Just trust me. Well, I'm so dead. Trust me, my guy. Awesome. I love it. I love it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm going to go back and ship shape in no time. Sweetheart, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's right. probably so nice too. Oh, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's probably super. Those little nice. stinky breath. Sometimes I got stinky breath. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we could kiss. And make I just it want you to be nice. To me. No, it could just, yeah, it could be just a really nice, nasty kiss. Yeah. Well, ladies, good. guys, don't care how bad your breath is. They don't care. They don't care. You heard it here first. All right, she said she's a, she's a ten, it. but she can't drive. I'll teach you how to drive. She's yeah. still a ten. It, that, that, that's all. This teachable. cracks me yeah. up. How it's like. No lowering of anything and just like, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll get it's her there. Yo, it. We'll get her there. I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you, there you, go. Go. There you, you go. don't really need to even drive I don't, ever. You know the reason exactly. I came up with it is because I don't really you like to drive. You ain't driving my whip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like to drive. I'll be like, fuck, oh, that's like a lowering. Yeah. I don't really like to drive. Like, I ah. don't like it as much. I love yeah. driving. So, like, I, to me, I'm like, oh, like a seven. Like, I would lower it for me. Yeah. She's a driver. She likes to drive. Yeah. Like, I never let Karen drive. I don't Regardless if she knows how to or not. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of my And if drivers. she's a 10 and she doesn't know how to drive, I don't care. You're, you're like, a cool. Ten, you're still cool. a 10. Still a ten. You're like, you I, remain I a 10. Yeah. You remain a 10. Great. She's a 10, but doesn't laugh at your jokes. Oh. Uh, oh. You see, to, to, to me, that's a little tough. That, that is a little that tough. That means I don't have the same sense of humor. Yes. Yeah, that's true. But the, the thing is, one. like, I'll put her at 8. That's the last one. I'll put her at 8. Yeah. And and I tell okay. people exactly why I tell her why she's an ant. Be like, oh, okay. she's so hot. But she don't think That's I'm what I was about funny. to say. Yeah. She doesn't think you're funny. Yeah, yeah she that, think you're funny. she's an ant. She's an ant. Yeah, like, yeah. if we go out to dinner and they'll be like, dude, your girl's so bad. I'm like, nah, she is, but she's an eight. Trust me. <laughs> she, for, <laughs> for, for her, her sense of, hum her is sense of humor is yeah. fucked up. Trash. That's true. I, you honestly, now Wouldn't that I think about it, the more I more think about it, yeah, because that's just your chemistry, right? Yeah, that's like, like that's, at a human level. Yeah. yeah, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I would never have dated Ty if he, he wasn't funny. if he didn't have the same sense of humor as me. Because yeah. humor is very important to me. Comedy is my favorite. So then what about you? All day. right. And then like, what would it lower to? I wouldn't date someone that doesn't uh, have my zero. stupid I agree. I don't think I, I like yeah. stupid yeah. shit. Yeah. I same. like stand up comedy. Yeah. I like same. family guy. Yes. Dumb. Happy yes. Gilmore. Like, yes. I like yeah. the dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I just like to have fun and laugh yeah, a lot. Same. You know? mm -hmm. It's yeah. very be important. Chill. It's so important to me. The only reason why I can stand this handsome masculine man. Wow. Is yes. because wow. with, the, with the high voice, <laughs> we have the same every the same humor, yeah, the same personality. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, the yeah. same sense of humor will take you around. Really that's, that's how we places. are too. Like yeah. we finish each other's so sentences. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is literally step brothers. Yeah, yeah, step brothers like, over here. <laughs> more room for activities over here. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's going on. Hey, Brennan, we should we should stack our couches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what we have. I love it. Welcome away, and he smashes them all. Guys, love it. Yeah, so I love it. Humor is everything. You it can, can be, you can be a five and be the funniest person. You go up to a ten. Go, that's true. true. You, go up, that's I was, you know what's funny? Because the question was, originally was you're a five, she's a five, but she's hilarious. Oh, ten. ten. Yeah, I was originally. But I was like, I'm gonna ten. do everyone tens. Ten. ten, yeah. She's a for ten. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. especially like I think now, like when people get a little bit older, you stop really caring about like things that yeah. really don't matter. As it's right, true. right, yeah, for sure. And you care more about. Energy, yeah. yeah, like the connection, yeah, yeah. yeah. and positive energy, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, because if yeah. she's not yeah. like she doesn't have like a personality like that, I'm, I'm, I'm what I'm gonna think naturally is she's probably into herself. She can't, she yeah. takes herself way too serious, way she can't just serious. enjoy stuff. That's an issue, so yeah. What's the last one? Last one, last one, one we have the last one. She is a 10, but she's obsessed with horoscopes. Like to the point where it's like, oh, that's why you did this because oh, you're a this yeah. I, I'm not a big fan I'm talking of tarot cards. I'm talking like tarot oh, like we're crystals. Doing the whole crystals are I'm everywhere. talking like oh, you, tr cards. you tripped because cards. Mercury was in retrograde. That's like why she's getting spent. notifications from her app. And yes. Yeah. 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 Co-star, yeah. the whole thing. And she's a 10. And she's a what 10. What are you going to say here? This is serious. Yeah, this is serious. This is a big one. A whammo. 
I feel like everybody's kind of into horoscopes. They are. They are. Yeah, I know. No, they are. Yeah. But this is but this, but this is like obsessive. Yeah, yeah. Like, this like, is like creepy. It's like very you're unwell. LA. Like, babe, yeah. let me see your palm. Yeah. yeah let me see how it's looking today. Yeah. No, yeah. guys, we're, we're going even past that. Like, we're going like, let's say there was like she tripped outside. She's like, oh my god, like Venus was like in da da da. Oh, I can't. Stand like that. I'm talking like that level. Right. It's like gone to that level. Like I can't stand that. I can't deal with that either. Like oh my god. I'm way cynical. I'm cynical. Oh, I literally if that was the case, I'd be like, you're a four. Yeah. Like for me, like I don't like people that are like blame everything on like yeah, surrounding no, things. Yeah, like I need no. you to fucking put blame on yourself for some stupid yeah. shit. I give them a three. Period. And that's really low. Yeah. Imagine yeah. a three. That's a yeah. and, like <laughs> damn. Not a three. A three. And you're <laughs> not even a three. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Oh yeah. So they're a ten? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they're a fucking ten, Josh. They've been Josh a ten this like, whole time. I fucking love horoscopes. <laughs> Our moon's rising. Or is my, rising? my dick's rising. <laughs> What's rising here, baby? Something. Exactly. Something's rising. Something's rising. Wow, well, that was a great episode, guys. I don't want to answer the question. Yeah. I can't. No, what I, would you I, do? I can't send that. Me? Yeah. Baby, that's fucking. I can't do it. <laughs> that's a one. I that's can't a, do that's it. That's a one. It's that's too much. Yeah. I'd probably just be their friend. Like, I still want to be I around like, ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, wanna, maybe every once in a while, when I want to, like, you know, I think that's only gonna last so long. The friendship. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Get Agree. Get you get annoyed. Quick. Yeah. You get. Annoyed. I have yeah. friends that are very into horoscope stuff. That I'm like, you better work. Like I've met. Yeah. Like I've Diva. met people. But I'm also intrigued. I'm like, tell me more about me. No, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. To an extent. To but an extent. They're 100%. saying like the. I'm talking about moderation. like we're so far gone. Yeah. Like an outlier. I'm talking an outlier. Yeah, I got here. you. Not yeah. the like not yeah, the little no. curve bell. We're gotcha. talking an outlier. Yeah, right? yeah. No, I can't. Like I'm talking yeah. unwell. Because like, they're a ten. But they're a ten. Yeah. Gorgeous. Josh makes me sick. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're sick. You but anyway, freak. That was a great episode. <laughs> that was a great episode. That was fantastic. That was Thank you guys so much. So no, last. seriously, we've been so excited since like last week. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And we had no idea what happen. we were going to talk about. So this yeah. is a you don't even got to worry about a thing. Yeah, I know. I think it was like just not in the pool house. That was funny. I even told my friend today. I was like, "Yeah, we're going to go with Manny and Laura," and then even um she was like oh my god i love their oh, podcast oh i love that yeah no, i love so. it the two best podcasts out there like, together so like, like, like combined yeah, we're doing it yeah and so cool. everybody knows that um josh is obsessed with horoscopes yeah obsessed and he loves tens love tens loves tens loves tens <laughs> 12 even yeah, no. <laughs> he's gonna go up to people like so oh, are you what are you an asparagus <laughs> yeah yeah Does a cucumber, are you? cucumber? Are you an asparagus <laughs> <laughs> wow. Scary, I guess. wow anyway you guys thank you so much for watching yeah, we'll of course leave guys. all their stuff linked down below as well as salute as well oh thank you so i want to leave their link their cloud link down below appreciate thank that. You. it's yeah. available yep. right the cloud yeah, absolutely of oh actually Amazing. at the moment it's not but it's coming back soon yeah. period yeah yeah, yeah. well we'll yeah. leave it just for them soon. Restocking, restocking soon restocking soon and thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys listening wherever it might be spotify apple youtube leave a comment we love you so much bye guys, bye. Love you guys. take care